Hello and welcome back to another AK Tidbits. It's been a while. I haven't really uh, made a video for AK Tidbits in a long time, but uh, pretend that that never happened. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about a lot of things today. Um, a lot of recent stuff, maybe old stuff, um, and a bit of interesting things that I've been seeing on my Twitter timeline as well that may interest you. Uh, so... CC is coming soon. Uh, late June, it says. Well, I'm gonna assume that's gonna come, like, maybe the last week of June, maybe. But, yeah, I heard this CC, uh, might be easy. Might. Uh, especially with Texas Altar, from what someone told me, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll struggle as usual, and everyone else will too. Except for the people who are kind of like super big brain and go for max risk, uh, my respects to you. <laughs> anyway, on to the next piece of news. All right, so the official account also released new stickers um, as a celebration, I guess. So Il Siracusuno themed. So these are free to download on the official Arknights uh, global fan kit site. Uh, and the other stickers that they've previously released is also um, on the site here. Just download it, and then you'll download the zip file, and then you'll just need to extract it and then throw them wherever. Like, maybe Discord or somewhere, if you want to use them. So yeah, completely free to use. Oh, and speaking of uh, stickers, I mean, they're somewhat like emotes. Uh, gonna shamelessly uh, plug my own emotes here. Uh, if you didn't know, I draw, and I lately I've been kind of like into drawing emotes. So this is for like the near future for my future Discord channel, um, not channel, server. So, I mean, I, I could use emotes for my uh, YouTube channel too, on live streams. Yeah, yeah, I could. Sorry, <laughs> I got it mixed up. But yeah, so uh, these are three emotes that I recently drew on stream like maybe one or two streams ago but anyway super cute free to download as well if you want to use them as long as you maybe credit me or something like that oh and uh make sure to read the terms of use on my coffee when you're downloading them oh yeah and don't worry about the yellow background it's transparent background so yeah it looks it looks nice on discord i mean visibly so yeah so if you want to download, it's all on my coffee in the link below. Okay, back to Arknights news. So the next thing I want to show you is this lovely artwork uh, by Lee Flag. Uh, you can follow them, I guess, by their handle here. I mean, even on the side there, but uh, you. Can, this is the, I guess, monthly L2D sort of screensaver thing that you can like use on your pc super nice though like it's the passenger skin one so i mean i don't think my pc can handle i mean i'm not much of a fan of ltd backgrounds i like my backgrounds just like still so yeah but this is super pretty so if you'd like to download this you can just download at this url here also i want to say when I first initially, like, um, saw this, or saw the tweet, and then I looked at the comments, I was like, oh no. People did not just compare Passenger, or Mistaken Passenger, as Kokomi from Genshin Impact. Like, as Kokomi's dad or something, or male Kokomi. Like, I hate that so much. <laughs> like, stop. Cringe. Anyway, that's just my nitpick about Twitter people. Yeah. Okay. Spoiler warning. If you don't want spoilers for um, CN content stuff, click off right now or um, jump to the timestamp where I'm like, it's safe. Where it says safe. So, um, let me just switch to the um, window real quick. Okay, is, is is that fine? Oh yeah, it's fine. 
Okay, here it is. Oh, you can't really see the um title, can you? Huzzah! Arknight's side story. Hordeth the escapismo. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, I probably butchered that. Anyway, if you're not caught up on CN stuff, uh, a new side story was dropped. And you know where we're going? Yes, we are going to Laterano. Where all the angels and gun people are. And you'd be surprised at what was dropped in this trailer. Anyway, um, let me um, just hold up. Wait, sorry, tech issues right now. Oops. Okay, hold up. You saw nothing. Accidentally pressed the hotkey. <laughs> so, I've already watched this, but I just want to give you a quick peek. I mean, we can just watch all three minutes of it, um, and we can react together. Or me reacting again. Uh, let me just adjust the volume for a quick second here. Hopefully it isn't too loud. I hope. The music is a banger, though. It's, like, kind of chill. But it's not like that, like, uh, previous really epic theme from the other event that we had. Uh, I don't know Chinese, so I can't read that. Um, but obviously from all the um, animations here, like, it's going to be Laterano related, and it is. But, um, yeah, let's just appreciate the um, on-step animation first, for a second, and the medals. And the build-up, and then the NPC, and then all this happens. And then the drop. And then new operators. Okay, this guy, I saw him before the trailer dropped. And I think that was Elite, but I don't know, I could be wrong. <laughs> And then there's this girl. Oh, I have so many things to say about her. And then, finally, we have... You know who this is. Sorry, I'm just excited because this is the first time that we've had a six-star Reaper, I think. But yes, Executor Alter. Finally, or like, oh my gosh. Another operator that I want to pull for! Yeah, so, uh, get your wallets ready, guys. Anyway, concept art, art looks really nice, too. Like, this is so pretty. Um, we can also watch the rest of it, like, skin time. We have Paprika, um, Fartooth, I think, and uh, Shalom. Yeah, Paprika? You know, while watching the video, I was, for a hot second, I was like, is that Aya No, it's Paprika. For some reason, I keep mistaking the two. Or, like, mistaking Paprika as Aya Like, oh no. It can't be just be me, right? I'm not the only one who, who makes that mistake, right? I hope not. Oh yeah, and Saga finally gets skin. skin. Yeah. So, oh, let, let me pause this for a quick second. And uh, gush over about this. So, supposedly, um, this... Image was modeled off after the Seven Deadly Sins, or so Twitter people um, theorized. And I think it became true. I'm not too sure about that, but like it makes total sense just by looking at all these different sagas. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong though, or mistaken. But yeah, super cool. Like it's not flashy, but like it's super cute though. It's unique. It's like one. One person commented saying that it's like we got like seven skins in one skin of Saga. So that that's pretty funny, right? And then next we have the um, operator records. And then the modules are after. Oh, wait. Oh, record restore. Oh, yeah. Um... Rerun event for Lingering Echoes. Skin for um, him. Can't pronounce his name, nor do I want to attempt to. Yeah, so module updates for these characters. Uh, the new person gets one too. 
and then the furniture room, and then we are done. Yeah. Okay, let's jump right into the um, operators. I just want to take a quick look at them. Okay. Executor Altar. Reaper class. Like, honestly, that, like, art looks really nice. Like, I, I really like it. And the animations, or attack animation, seems really interesting. I mean, I think it's pretty much the same as any other Reaper guard, I think, but I guess maybe stronger, or... There has to be a niche kit that he has just for him. Also, like, funny how how it matches the themes like um, Angel of Death or, like, Angel with a Shotgun. <laughs> I think it's nice. Oh, and fun tidbit. Um, from good old uh, AKCN info dump. So supposedly, the um the new event was posted like around seven minutes early than the usual eleven a.m. And then revealing ex executor whose birthday is on seven seven as the seventy seventh six star operator. Like Hypergriff planned this out. <laughs> That's so funny. But it's so nice. Like, I, I love that sort of Easter egg, you know? I think the same thing happened with the Monster Hunter collab too, right? I forgot what happened. I think I covered it too, but... It... Yeah, I, I don't remember it right now. <laughs> okay, um, and then the next person, Spuria, the cute girl, who's... E2 art looks really nice. I, I think it's just a facial expression that I'm really digging. <laughs> anyway, so, like, I looked at a translated tweet of her kit, and she's, like, kind of RNG-based, which is kind of funny. But also, like, if you use her in IS2 or any, like, roguelikes, like, I think some results would be pretty funny. If you have certain relics. So I'm definitely going to try and get her. Along with ex Executor. And then we have this guy. Insider. Whose artwork feels really new. I don't recognize this artist. Um, Don't like. I think the artist's name is on the trailer. But like I can't read Chinese. Oh wait no. The illustrator is down here. Okay. Uh, them. And their voice actor, I'll have to look it up. Um, but yeah, I'll have to say that their art reminds me a lot of like those uh, manhua protagonists, if you know what I mean. It has that distinct manhua style. So that that's a little thing that I noticed. I'll probably check out the artist in a bit later after this recording, so yeah. And then next up is... what is this? Oh yeah, something funny from this user. <laughs> Look at all these, like, if, if all these sagas were operators, you know? So, here we have... I don't know what all these sagas are called, but like, I think my favorite one is this one. This one's pretty. And then this one's so cute. Just sleeping and derpy. And then this one, this solemn looking one is like kind of cool. I don't know. I'm I'm digging it. And then you have the two crazy looking ones. And then the cute like chubby one here. So yeah. And then the next thing that I want to talk about, um, for those who are Milzy's fan, um, she's getting a figure. Like, surprisingly, by um, Good Smile. Um, Good Smile kind of produces nice figures every now and then, in my opinion. Um, I'm too lazy to like exp expand this, but like I'll leave the link below for you all to see. But this one doesn't look too bad. Like, the lighting and everything, it actually looks good. I mean, this is just the like prototype for display, right? And not the one that's going to be like mass produced. So like it could it could change honestly. So um not too sure if um other online stores where westerners or people outside of Japan or China could like 
um, buy it. I don't know if they'll even like sell it or pre-order it. The site that I usually use is Ami Ami, so I'll have to check like I'm not gonna buy it, but like I'll just double check later because I'm curious. But like if you live in Japan, you can order it on the Good Smile um link here. So yeah. Okay, next up is something that was interesting and was floating around on my timeline today or just now. So <laughs> This is a fan-made Arknights research paper about the quantitative relationship between blood originium crystal density and cell ori originium assimilation in aripathy. I'm not too sure how they wrote this. Maybe they used like chat GPT or something like that, but like they they've got charts and everything here. But it's kind of funny. But it's all in Japanese. So you might be wondering, Yuko, what is this for? So um, you may notice the hashtag here. Um, I had to do a bit of digging, but uh, here's the translated tweet. So this person was selling this uh, research paper that they made um, at C13. I don't know what this place is. This is probably a wrong translation, but like um, their AIS, uh, underscore zero two is a dojinshi event in japan happening right now today june 3rd actually it should have been passed maybe it was yesterday yeah it might have been oops time zones but yeah so there was an arknights only uh fan event going on where people could sell like arknights fan merch and whatnot so this person was here selling their own <laughs> Fan made content here in the research paper and surprisingly he sold out and they had to go to 7-eleven to um print out more copies and then another time <laughs> to print it out again oh if you don't know um in japan their 7-eleven has a lot of things like the, you can print stuff pay your bills and whatnot yeah a lot of things so that's that's why he mentions uh seven again meaning 7-eleven and this person here can i buy the pdf online yeah they don't plan to distribute it online so like what we're seeing in the tweet here is probably the first page of the paper that they have i think there's more papers because one person or no, maybe it was only this one, but yeah, there might be more pages, but I don't know. I might do a bit of digging later, if I remember to, to see if anyone on Twitter uh, got their hands on it <laughs> and did a review. I'm kind of curious to what this says. I mean, I could take a picture and throw this into Google Translate, but maybe not now. Um... Yeah, so this is the official uh, Arts Insanity AIS underscore zero two page. So yeah, this is the PR account for Arknights um, only Dojinshi sales event held in Yokohama on June 3rd, 2023. Though pretty sure it's past June 3rd in their time zone. Yeah, the event is a private private event and it's unofficial so i guess it's like invitations only but yeah there were a lot of arknights related content happening there um i think i saw a bunch of memes too like um winner doing like a full-on spread or something like that uh let me just double check oh it's not here okay um it's floating around somewhere on arknights twitter i'm sure you'll find it if you scroll enough but yeah um that's about it for today's tidbit i hope you enjoyed this little info section session here so let me know what you thought about this and i'll see you in the next one maybe uh next video but bye have a good day have a good night evening morning wherever you are bye